A boy on Long Island is the first in New York State to undergo a new gene therapy for a rare blood disease. As Long Island reporter Carolyn Gussoff shares tonight, a gene was actually added to the child's blood cells to cure a life-threatening disease. After he turned eight, Yusuf Saeed celebrated another birthday of sorts, a rebirth of his health. We're super uh, fortunate that we were able to, you know, get Yusuf um, the gene therapy so early on. The Valley Stream second grader was born with a genetic blood disorder, beta thalassemia, unable to make red blood cells. He required transfusions every few weeks. A bone marrow transplant would have been a cure, but there were no matches, not even his twin sister. The time passing and we're not finding any donor. As hope ran out for a donor, a new gene therapy was approved by the FDA. The future is here. A first in New New York State, a gene was added to Yousef's stem cells. Gene therapy is a transformative treatment. Um, the patient is his own donor. We actually collect the patient's own stem cells. The altered cells were then infused back into Yousef, a one-time treatment that prompts bone marrow to do its job. He has not needed um, a blood transfusion for the first time in his life since mid-February. This is a really exciting and transformative moment because this is just the beginning. Gene therapy shows promise with similar diseases and eliminates the need for a bone marrow transplant, which Yusuf's aunt needed when she was a child. The only option at, during my sister's time was to go through um, a donor. Um, and so now for that not to be, you know, doesn't have to be the only option is really, really amazing. It's mind blowing. Yusuf shared few words, but made them count. Thank you so much, Dr. Pushen's Dr. Dr. Eigen. For taking care of me. For taking care of yeah. me. His parents hope he'll be a voice of hope. I would just hope that he becomes that for other kids. The hope of doctors is that Yusuf will now live a long, healthy life without ever needing another blood transfusion. In New Hyde Park, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Just a precious little guy. The very first patients who received this gene therapy in clinical trials are already eight years out living transfusion free. Just tremendous.